Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your April 1st through the 15th love reading. This is for Aries. We'll see what we have for love for these first two weeks of August. I want to thank, say thank you to all of my subscribers, watchers, likes, and commenters. I really appreciate all the support. Thank you for your patience with your readings. I know some of them were done, you know, days ago for August 1st or the 15th. But I went on vacation for four days. And you are my second one. What do you have for Aries? There you are, second card. You, it looks like you are feeling very powerful the first beginning of August. You know, you're, you're right in your zone. Your comfortable zone. We have some love in this reading. Yeehaw! That's amazing. I like it. All right. So at the beginning of August, it looks like you're feeling very, very good about where you're at. You're feeling very comfortable. You're your, your usual self, organized, um, uh, decisive I'm, um, you're just very much yourself you are at ease you're doing your thing there's no issues beginning of August everything is looking real good as far as where you're at um, here we have the daughter of wands we have the son of pentacles um, And I think this is you because this is your sign as well. But it's about uh, enthusiastic and um, confident. If you are. You're just feeling really good about yourself. This is great. Again, the first three days, it's not really. It's about loving yourself. I think that's where you're at. I mean, this is. Yeah. The first three days is about loving yourself. Perhaps um, here. This is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo person. Um, who's very grounded and I was thinking you know I almost said grounded and then I looked over here I should have just said it. I think that you're feeling very grounded um, <coughs> again organized responsible you're just very uh, comfortable very comfortable at ease no stress beginning of August it just looks like everything is looking very positive you're feeling positive you're feeling good like you're you know you're in your zone First, second, third, fourth, fifth. We get to the fifth. All right. So we get to the fifth of August. And then all of a sudden, there's some kind of um, sorrow. There's some kind of wrench that gets thrown into the mix. Okay. Um, something that hurts. All right. Something is going to hurt. And I don't know what it is. We'll get more on this as we go. This is round the fifth. Something's going to hurt again. All right. Um You know, it could have something to do with regrets. I think it's your own regrets. I don't think it's that kind of hurt where you get hurt. I think it's something you have some regrets. By the fifth, you're starting to, you know, the first through the fourth, you're feeling good. You're like, woo, great, awesome. Then, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm saying that, but that's how you feel. You know, you're like, you're just at ease, all right? You're not anything but yourself the first second third and fourth you're you're feeling good there's no negativity in your thought process or whatever the first through the fourth 
the fifth, things start to go downhill. Okay, and you're starting to have some kind of regrets about something. And perhaps it was some kind of missed opportunity or you feel like you've missed an opportunity for something. Um, and it has to do with... Um, you missed an opportunity because you were you were imbalanced yourself. You were in balance, balance. So you, you're feeling so good, then you start to think about what you've lost. Damn it all. Oh, God. All right. So here, um, this is about, this is a justice card. It's about um, something becoming final or making a decision. Um, that's the right thing to do. All right. It's doing the right thing. So this is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, and this is about... Um, Being afraid to fly. What the hell? Being afraid to fly. With love. What the hell? Is it, are you scared to offer somebody some love? Or what? Because here we have this uh, new manifest manifestation of love. It's a new emotion. Um, it's for yourself. Oh my God. Yes, it is. It's for your, it's this new welling of emotion for yourself and the, and understanding that you can take care of yourself, that you're doing this for yourself. You're starting to feel like you can take care of yourself. You're taking back your power. You're feeling really, really great. And here we, you start a new transformation. Can be a spiritual transformation. It is. It is. It's a spiritual transformation that transforms you into a new person. It is because that's what transformation does. All right, and and that's happening because you're really, really taking care of you. You're really, really loving yourself. You're not feeling negative. You're feeling positive. You're ta you're having taking on a courageous approach, and you're doing the right thing for you. All right, because you regret that you haven't done it sooner, <laughs> and you're you're gonna open up your wings here and fly away pretty damn soon. You're finally healing. I think that you're healing from some past regrets. And you cuz you're doing the right thing for you and the universe sees that. What about with a person? Is this I mean, this is with you. I don't see another person here. I really don't. I think you're taking on this energy of being practical and grounded and um steady, you know? You 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 made a plan. You've come up with a plan and you're feeling really good. And you're doing it for you. You're putting yourself right first. You're definitely starting a new journey. Look at that. And it does lead to more love. It does. It leads to more love. You know, and it could lead to some passion too. This new journey leads to love, passion, enthusiasm, um, and a very vibrant, um, passionate, sexual, you know, um, magnetic energy. You know, but you just have to be careful not to overindulge because that's what I keep wanting to tell you not to overindulge. I've wanted to since I saw that card. And that card can mean so many different things, but really whatever comes out. Now, I don't read the cards like readers do like out of the book. I read the cards per my way. You know what I'm saying? So whether what I hear, what I see, and what I know from the card, yeah, I use some of the book definition, but I put it all together based on what's coming into my head. <laughs> and if it doesn't resonate, then check your rising sign or your moon sign, or, you know, this isn't meant to resonate with everybody. It's meant to resonate with the people it's supposed to resonate with. <coughs> and maybe some parts of it will resonate with you and not others, okay? 
So if that's the case, then so be it. But it does look like this reading is mostly about you loving yourself and being care. You're loving yourself so much that you be careful not to overindulge. You be careful um, and you live in moderation. I mean, stay healthy. Keep yourself healthy. Okay, perhaps you have some regrets because you weren't loving yourself enough and you may have not kept your health up as much, okay? Um, but now you're starting to really vibrate high, okay? Your vibration has increased and you are just like shining, absolutely shining. Now this is the August 1st through the 15th. Looks like Aries is loving themselves and they're doing a really good job at it. And you know when you love yourself and your vibration raises, everybody else loves you too. Don't be scared to offer love, whatever you do. Don't hold back love from others. That's just a tip, okay? Don't hold it back. Okay, I understand that you're about power and you like to have power and you're good at reigning in the power and you're good at being a leader, but you and you're and you're opening up more with your emotional state, but you still have some fear. So you really, really I mean that's just a little tip for you. Oh we got a hummingbird. Hummingbird just came up right up to my window, literally a red and black hummingbird. That was for you and I got goosebumps. I forgot to tell you guys that whatever happens during this reading is meant for you when the minute I hit record and a little hummingbird, I'm not shitting you, was probably three feet away from me just right now. I'm not kidding you. That was for you guys. It was black and it had a lot of red and it was a hummingbird. Literally right, if you back it up, you'll be able to hear him twerping or whatever you want to call it. Twerping. <laughs> anyway, you will. Try it. He came up for you guys. That was for you, a hummingbird. Somebody was coming to say hi. Oh my God. Whew. I still got goosebumps like mad. Um, they do this for me all the time. I wish I could have got a picture of it, but then he would have moved. Damn. He was literally right by the back of the camera. Oh. That was for you. They want, and that what, I, what was I saying? Do not be afraid to offer love. That was a big message for you. Love everybody. Son of a gun. I love it when that happens. They do this kind of stuff for me all the time. Oh, what did I just get done telling you? Do you remember? Love everybody. Isn't that what I just said? Just love everybody. Healing family issues. Yeah. That's a big deal. Sons, daughters, mothers, fathers, aunts, uncles, whoever. This is. Heal whatever it is. You can do it. That will that will bring you that will bring your vibration even higher. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Everybody has to forgive their parents for something. Believe it. There ain't not one parent out there that is innocent of doing it right. You know. I mean, yeah, we, every single parent in the whole world has made mistakes that impacted their children. Forgive your parents for whatever they did. Forgive wh whoever it is that is blocking you. Whoever it is that is um, that you need to forgive. Forgive it. Like that. That's good advice, huh? Easier said than done. That's for damn sure. Ah, this is a scary one. I don't like this card. 
unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Now, this is a, this is supposed to be a love reading, right? What relationship? What relationship could this be? There's not enough chemistry or attraction to keep this. Re what relationship could this be? This could be a relationship with whoever is in, inside of you that is causing a blockage. It's a relationship. Whatever's blocking you, you're having a relationship with it. It's true. It's part of you. It's blocking you. It's not letting you fly. It's the only thing that's not fucking letting you fly. Something's going on there. I think it's within yourself. I don't think it's another person. There's something you need to let go of within yourself. I don't. I think you need to forgive yourself. I mean, that's what it, a big part of it is. That's why you're not. Your vibration hasn't reached its like higher level because you you have a couple things to do. You need to heal your family issues and you need to heal yourself. And they start with forgiveness. This card is about healing. This card is about starting new, taking a risk. Takes a risk to offer your heart and your emotions to somebody. Damn it all, that's fucking scary. Excuse my language, here I go swearing again. Excuse my language, I will try not to do that. Sometimes I have a problem. Another reason. Oh, didn't want this card to come up. That you guys haven't flown. Jesus. Excuse me. I'm sorry for saying that. They forgive me because, you know, I ask for mercy for my swears. I do. And they forgive me for them because I, I, you know, I am who I am. And they want me to be who I am. So that's the way it is. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. They are. That's one of the reasons why you're not flying. You're so damn scared. You're like, man, I think you have a... Mm, sometimes you don't feel worthy, you know? Sometimes you feel like you shouldn't, you're not ready to fly. I'm not ready to fly. I'm not ready to fly. What? Yes, you are. Get rid of that relationship with your, I'm not ready. That, get, that, that's the one that needs to go. Ah, oh. We were talking about love quite a bit in this reading, right? Since it is a love reading at all. Um, and I told you that you, offer love, offer love, 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 love. Offer it. Don't everybody give them love. It is safe you to love. They do this for me all the time. That hummingbird. I haven't seen that hummingbird ever. <laughs> it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. <laughs> That's your main message. I was telling you this, what, ten minutes ago? Five minutes ago? I don't know. That is your message. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So, if you'd like to subscribe, I'd love to have you. Um, I will talk to you soon.